you are among them that come in, but you are not ready to do the will of God, you are a disappointment to who? God. And if you refuse to be born again, and you are coming, you hypocrite. You are what? A disappointment to God. And if you refuse to serve God and do his will, the totality of the will of God, you are what? A disappointment to God. And if you are among those that decide and make selection which church fellowship attend, the time to come, you come anytime you like, and you say by the example to people about Christ, you are what? A disappointment to God. You need to check your life. Are you among them? The disappointing more to do. You need to search your life. When did you come to service? When did you start coming? Are you born again? What is the work you are doing in the house of God? How many people have you converted? Are you sanctified? Are you baptized in the Holy Ghost? Are you baptized in the water? Are you example to believe as a representative ambassador of Christ? If not, you are a disappointing believer among the disappointing more to do. Whatever you have today was given to you by who? God, including your life. I want to let you know, even though God created us for his pleasure, and for his pleasure we are created and gave us all things, many people, many people, if not everybody, are what? A disappointment to who? I'm not hearing you. A disappointment to go in one way or the other such your life. Example abound in the Holy Scriptures. Esau. Esau was the firstborn of Isaac. Esau has the privilege of being the firstborn. But because of he was hungry. And he sold the bed right for a plate of food. And when the blessing time came, Esau could not get the blessing. He cried, but he missed it. He sold his bed right for what? A plate of food. You see, money is sweet. Power is sweet. Positions are sweet. Marriage is sweet. Husband or wife is sweet. Children is sweet. If any of them will take you away from Christ, I want to let you know a time shall come. You will cry. Your child will not save you. Your husband will not save you. Your car will not save you. Your position will not save you. Your money will not save you. Whatsoever that had made you to disappoint the Lord we disappoint you that day I want to let you know Esau he sold his bed right I don't know what is so fascinating what if you don't get it you die that's the way you thought or you are thinking, I don't know, marriage is so, you must marry, therefore you abandon the church. The church rule and pattern and the, the standard. You marry unbeliever, you go out of your way, you will let her regret. Money is wonderful because of money. You don't come to service again. And when you come to service, because God has given you money, you become a guy of the church. You don't serve. You don't do the will of God. Nothing you 
are doing in the church anymore because you're a guy. You are not a worker. You don't come to workers' meeting. You are not ready for righteousness. You do what you like. You are a disappointment to the Lord. I don't know what you brag about you have that made you to be a disappointment to God who gave it to you. You have been exalted. You have a position. You have power. Now, you use it against God. You are disappointment to the Lord. The power, the position will not save you on the last day. And yet your life is a gift from God and is a vapor. A day shall come. You will drop your body. You will stand before your maker. Where will you go? Where will you be at the end of this life? I want to let you know, Esau suffered.